nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition. The Shepherd has cleared the tower. That's right, New Shepherd has cleared Starting the rolling. tower. Now, if you want to follow along, take a look on your left hand side of the screen. That's where you're going to be able to note the speed and the altitude graphics, as well as follow New Shepherd's journey. 7,000 feet climb. Coming up here shortly is max Q, maximum dynamic pressure, when the aerodynamic stresses are good. at the maximum. Max Q reached, maximum dynamic pressure. You heard it there, max Q. Great shot looking back at Texas. Engine back to full throttle. Yep, past Mac Q. BE3 is back up to 100%. And New Shepard is picking up speed and altitude very quickly as the air becomes thinner and thinner in that upper atmosphere. Astronauts are experiencing about three Gs here. These shots are really nice. A nice clear day out in West Texas. Yeah, beautiful long range shots. Section Delta. We're going about 1,700 uh, miles per hour and increasing. Astronauts are experiencing max ascendies. Stand by Miko. Begin throttle down. Stand by Miko. Stand by Miko. Miko is main engine cutoff. Miko confirmed. Stand by separation. There we go. Stand Miko by confirmed. separation. Separation. Separation, separation is confirmed. Separation. You can perform your Separation zero confirmed. Plan. You can see on your screen now our graphics have changed a little bit. Now that the vehicles are separated, we're tracking the booster and the capsule separately as they both continue their ascent. Let's listen in. Just a great shot. The astronauts are experiencing zero G right now. They're taking a look out those big, beautiful windows, getting some photos together. And you can see there on your screen, you can, you look really carefully, you can see the capsule and the booster, you know, coming uh, separated and, and continuing their journey. Beautiful day. You can hear the voices of the yeah. astronauts. They sound so excited. I can't wait to see the footage. Of course, we will release that footage on our social media later. CC aperture 344,000 feet. TM aperture 343,000 feet. Both vehicles have reached their apogee and are beginning their descent back to Earth. <laughs> Happy cheers. Minute warning. One minute warning. You just heard from Capcom that one minute warning. 
Now that is uh, giving the astronauts a heads up that in one minute they need to be back in their seats. Really soaking up those last few seconds. Really clear day to get this shot of the booster and the capsule. And again on your screen, the left hand side, those two bars, the left bar is tracking the booster descent, and the right bar is, cap is the capsule descent. Both of them are coming down about the More same speed split. right now, but very soon they're going to hit the atmosphere. And the booster is going to come in a lot quicker due to its aerodynamic shape. Pinky Blue Control, report on seats one, two, and three. Now that booster lands about two miles PM passing north of where we took feet. off. Copy. And it will beat the capsule Blue by Blue Control, just a few report minutes. on seats four, five, and six. Athens active. PM passing 100,000 feet. Copy. All astronauts in seats. All astronauts are in their seats. <laughs> See those wedge fins are deployed on the booster. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Astronauts, as they re-enter, do reach about 5 Gs just for a moment, but they should be should be cool and calm right now. Yeah. As wedge fins have deployed and the air brakes have deployed, this will slow the booster down substantially. And a beautiful landing for the new Shepard booster, kicking up some dust. What a sight to see. <laughs> that is right, we have booster touchdown, but the show is not over just yet. Take a look, oh, that shot though. Out on the pad, again, about two miles from where new Shepard took off. We, it's just such an engineering marvel. Uh, every time I've seen it, you know, I've seen it down in Texas. I've seen it on the webcast. It never gets old, Tabitha. It is just so cool to see that rocket come back and land. And the cool thing that happens also Stand that people may not know drone. is we go take a picture Stand with the booster after uh, after everything's all said and done. Yeah, we're currently getting that, that booster safe and ready for the crew to approach in, uh, in a little bit. Oh, and there Stand we have it. We have the main. capsule. There are Stand the drones. Those deployed just before the main parachutes. Again, coming down a little slower than the booster because of its gum drop shape. And there go the parachutes. Now, while these uh, parachutes, of course, are essential in providing a gentle touchdown for the capsule, it also has a retro thrust system at the base of the capsule you'll want to look for. That's when it goes down towards uh, West Texas. You notice all this dust comes up, but that actually means that it's making a nice soft landing for our Astros. Beautiful shot. All three parachutes deployed. Parachutes look great. We're about 1,500 feet above the ground as the astronauts take a smooth, gentle ride back to Earth. It slows down to, what, one, two miles per hour just before it lands? That's right. Yep. <laughs> Happy claps. The astronauts in their seat looking up at those beautiful parachutes and looking out at those mountains. Uh, Guadalupe Mountain National Park, about 25 miles um, from our site out in West Texas.
Great easy touchdown for our new Shepherd crew capsule. Now, right now, our capsule recovery team, they are currently driving out in the convoy to meet First our touchdown. astronauts. They are going to safe the capsule and get ready to open that hatch. And welcome back Alice, to Earth. What does it mean to safe the capsule? That is That's a great question. So when the recovery crew Laser. gets out there, they will electrically ground the vehicle because sometimes it can develop a little bit of static charge on its way back in. They're also going to uh, get some stairs ready for the astronauts to come out of the hatch. And all the while, crew member seven will be walking around the capsule, getting a big thumbs up and probably lots of smiles from the astronauts in there, making sure everyone 